Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. Second baseman, Eduardo Escobar. And that's in there for strike one. And now the 0 1. And strike two. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. And that one is lifted in the air. Bryant makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Second inning set to go. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. The catcher. And he deals. Alejandro Kirk. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Here's Alex Kirilov. Leading off for Seattle. The designated hitter, Alex Kirilov. And first offering is fouled off. Sneaks through, base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Now oh, just a nice job coming through at a pretty high leverage spot right there. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Nico Horner swings through that one there. Pick off move to second. Not in time, he's safe. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to make it up for it in his next at bat. Justin Turner, Justin Turner takes a ball here as he stands in now. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Jack Swing went around, and the count is one and two. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot. And a one-two. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here's Garrett Hampson. Batting up. The right fielder, number one, Garrett. First pitch, just misses. Kirk over at second. Kirilov at first, two out of the inning. Bassett with a look to first. In there safely. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Here's a 1-1. Swings through that one for strike two. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If he can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. This one in the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Kicks and deals. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that is that. Back here at Rogers Center. Bottom of the inning. And here's the first baseman. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The first baseman, Vladimir. Go the pitch. Junior. That go, misses go. the zone, and that is ball one. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Jeremy Pena next up for the Blue Jays. Good contact guy, good defender. Pena. 
Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Buxton under it. Makes the grab. Two down. Two outs. Base is empty. Got it, got Luke it. Void at the plate. That's a big hitter. Luke. Boy. In there, and it's 0-1. No ball. One strike. And here it comes. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Next offering is fouled back. Next one misses. It's a ball in two strikes. And a pitch. And it's even up. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Got it. Third out. And that ends the frame. Set for the start of the inning. Here's the Seattle leadoff man, Byron Buxton. The center fielder. Bassett Byron. back to work. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next offering misses, and yeah, that's ball three the pitch got him down on strikes and he knew it Jazz Chisholm now at the plate in the air out towards left center sometime there as this one sized up falls it in for the out two outs base is empty and now for Seattle, Ty France slide to right his first time. And fouled off. And it's fouled away. Squeezes it, and that'll do it. And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. And now two and one. Two ball, one strike. Fought off foul. Time called. The two two will have to wait just a second. Next offering is foul back. Two two down. There, that misses off the outside edge. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. 
Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3 2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that ball. And now here is Gabriel Moreno. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Bryant makes the catch. And there's one away. The relay throw. Here's George Springer. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Joel Springer. Now he steps off. Nothing doing. There's a foul ball. Ooh. Next offering is in for a strike. Going two now. And now oh. one and two. And a ball in two strikes. Just oh missed. Two two now. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Santander, the base runner at first with one out. On the ground. Reaches on the backhand, but it's through. Throw into third. He's in there. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. This is Willie Castro. In there for strike one. A one down. Hot shot to third. It's in and out of his glove. Throw to first. Gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second half. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Tanniger in the box lays off for ball one. Second and third, two down. They say it went. The pitch. And a count one and two. Two on, two outs. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. And out of here. Mitch Hanniger leaves the yard. And they lead it. It's 4-1. Two outs, nobody on. Here's the second baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Fly to left his first second time up. Eduardo Escobar. Slapped foul. The O2. And that's outside. Wind to the pitch. That one ripped. 
back there. On the warning track, and hauls it in. Start of the fourth. And now, Chris Bryant. The left fielder, number 23. Chris the pitch. Bryant. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Swing and a miss. One and two. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Now Here's the catcher, Alejandro the Kirk. Alejandro. Hit by a pitch his first time up. <laughs> and that is Springer. Out number two. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Seattle, Alex Kirilov. One for one with a single so far. And that one wrapped foul. Two down, nobody on. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. One ball, two strikes. Righty delivers. Hanniger makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. The first base to wind to kick the pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. The pitch. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. The 2 0 is in for a strike. It's really trying to stay in on the hands, not let them get extended, because that's where the potential for damage exists. Next pitch is popped up. Corner makes the grab, and there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got no underneath batter. it a little Number bit three. and popped it up. Shortstop. Jeremy Pena Jeremy. next up for the Blue Jays. Pena. First oh, offering, and it just misses. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. That one fouled off. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. On the ground to third. On to France. Already two gone here in the home fourth. And it'll be Luke Voigt to stand in. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we see more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Next offering upstairs. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. That's hard hit in the line. And that is the third out of the inning. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Nico Horner. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. 
in for a strike and that's strike one and you played behind guys and they love having your speed out there defensively one of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them 0 and 2 now and down on strikes he goes one down Here's now Turner back. now. Third baseman, Justin Turner. That oh. one's in there, 0 and 1. Yo, 1. Oh. And that's outside. Plane 11, 1 1. The wind of the pitch. So, a foul ball makes it 1 and 2. And a pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there are two outs. Garrett Hampson, the like next to hit. Number one, Garrett Hampson. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. The 1 0. Line drive, and that's a base hit, and that extends the inning. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And the 0-1, runner around the goal. It's a pitch out. Throw to second, save! Two outs, and one in scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. The one two. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Back now in Toronto, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leading Here's the left fielder, Toronto. Anthony Santander. Anthony. Rolled softly, Santander. but that goes foul. In the air, center field. Buxton moving under it. Makes the grab. And a quick out, number one. Gabriel Moreno digs in now. 0 for 1. He was robbed of a hit on a diving catch his first time off. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side. Chisholm tosses the first. And a couple of quick outs. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Jones. George Springer stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And the 1-0. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Hampson makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. And stepping in for the Mariners, Jazz Chisholm. The second baseman. Bassett Jazz. back to work. Chisholm. That's in for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Here's the 0-2. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Got him. One away on the strikeout. And now for Seattle, Ty France. Number 23, Ty France. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. 
And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Got him looking. That's out number two. Two outs, base is empty. So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. Up the middle. Escobar with the throw to first. Bryant out of the play. And that will end the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now the number two hitter, Willie Castro. Leading off for the Jays. The third baseman, Willie Castro. And he deals. That one misses. One and oh. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That's in there. And the count one and one. Lifted in the air, right field. Hampson under it. And there's one down. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. He's already homered here in this one. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Christian Javier. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And he swings. and misses and it's nothing at one. And the right hander deals. On the ground to the left. Chisholm collects. Fine play in the hole for the out. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Eduardo Escobar. Second baseman. Eduardo Escobar. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Throws to first, and that is the inning. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. The catcher. Alejandro. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now it's the Mariners DH. The Alex Kirilov. One hitter. for two. Alex Kirilov. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and fires. Ooh. And a strike. The 2 Stays alive. Foul ball. Hanniger gets under it, puts the squeeze on it, and there's two down. Nico Horner up next for the Mariners. Nico Horner. Out towards right center field. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Up next, for two Seattle. outs, runner at first. The third baseman. Justin Turner Justin now. Turner. First Whoa. pitch, not close. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit.
The next pitch misses two and one. Horner off of first with two away. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Two outs. Just missing there. Full count now. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Liner, base hit. Horner flies around third. The throw into second. Not going to get him. He's in there. Well done. Narrows the deficit with the RBI there. Now Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Here Absolutely is. smoked yes. that ball. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the Eagle. Number 30. Digging in, Garrett Hampson tried to punt his way on. And that's just foul. Runner at second, two down. Strike two. And on second, two down. All one there. A one, two. Now fly ball to right center. Springer on the move. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. The run comes in to score from second, and it's a one-run game. The tag, and that's out Wait, number three, the inning the over. Back here at Rogers Center, bottom of the seventh. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Leading off for the Jays, the first baseman, the pitch. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's the third. Turner to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Jeremy Payne batter, next up for three. the Blue Jays. Shortstop, Jeremy Payne. First offering misses the mark. And a foul ball. They say it went. Right to the plate. And the one two misses to even the count. Swing and a line drive caught. And here's Luke Voigt. The bat, the designated hitter. Luke. High fly ball out to center field. Buxton on his way over. Pulls it in on the run. And that's the third out. We go to the eighth. Now here is Byron Buxton. Off of the, Mariners, the center field, number 25. Byron Buxton. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him the one more thing he's got to think about. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. I'll tell you this, that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. 
Bowling two as he waves at that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And up next for Seattle, Jazz Chisholm. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. That's a laser base hit. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Chisholm hung up in a rundown now. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Triple into the opposite field gap. That gets me going right there. Just a perfect swing, man. Like, he was still taking BP or something. And then instantly transitions into a base runner. Great hustle to get all the way around to third. Pena picks it up. Tries to get back and save. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Kicks and deals. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Uh-oh, this appears to be a balk. And it is. Terrible timing for that sort of mistake. So that'll bring across a run. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Montero throws over to second, but he beats the throw. Save. And a swing and a miss. Too long. Next to hit, Alejandro Kirk for the fourth time tonight. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fire. There's a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Next offering is in for a strike. Two down. Go ahead, run. It's scoring position. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Hanniger puts it away, and that'll do it. On to the bottom of the eighth, and now for the Jays, Anthony Santander. For Toronto, the left field. And a pitch. Check swing. Now an appeal to third. No swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. The 1 0. They say it went. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Kirk sizes this one up, makes the catch, and there's one away. Gabriel Moreno next up for the Blue Jays. Gabriel Moreno. Swings through that one, 0 and 1. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. Here's the center fielder, George Springer. He's already homered in this game. Springer. In there, and it's 0-1. 
Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Ahead 0 2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Next offering is down low. Ball one. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a one two again. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back now in Toronto. All set to start the ninth in this one. In now is the Mariners DH, Alex Kirilov. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Blue Jays. Number 45, Rob Danner. And here it comes. Oh. And ball one. One ball, no strike. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball there. Next pitch is outside. Two balls, one strike. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. There's a strike. Two two now. Got him. Now one gone in the ninth. Nico Horner up next for the Mariners. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Got him swinging. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Turner climbs in on that now right that side. Is. One for three. Justin Turner. And the first offering is not close. Right handed reliever. And that one fouled off. Tied at four. Fouled off. He was late. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. Now he steps out of the box as he asks for time. Four four in the ninth. No, oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's sometimes where pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Well, that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over. He smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. And now the count is even. The pitch. And another ball. Will he been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far? He doesn't look anxious at all. And there's ball four. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go ahead run into scoring position. So some pressure pitches coming up in this next AB.
Buxton swings through it for strike one. Well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. The 0 1. A little bit low. Late with the swing there. It's been a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative. But you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Strike three. Got him swinging. That's the third out. Bottom nine. And now for the Jays, Willie Castro. Leading up for the Jays, the third baseman, Willie Castro. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Michael King, he has a great slider with tons of movement. The pitch. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Quarter infielders playing in. Righty delivers. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Lays out and makes the play. So up next, Mitch Hanniger. Now be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Hanniger. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. pitch swing and a miss and he got him and there are two down so here's the cleanup hitter Eduardo Escobar second baseman Eduardo Escobar swing and a foul back that's out of play all tied up here the last half of inning number nine They say you win. And a pitch. Got him. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark, we're in extras here. And stepping in for the Mariners, Jazz Chisholm. Jazz. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the blue game. Number 58. Air. Mesa. And the pitch. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release ball. The pitch. And a foul ball. The next offering misses. Three and one. The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. As a hitter, you don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Go ahead, run on base. And now the first baseman, Ty France. Ty France. And 
And that one fouled off. All tied up here in extra innings. Next offering upstairs. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. And he deals. Grounder might be two. One at second, and that's two. Well, not what you're expecting right there with your number three hitter at the plate. Looked like it was going to be a big inning. Now you're going to need a little bit of luck to get that two-out RBI across. Jorge Mateo in the box now takes a cold strike. Next one misses, and that's ball one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Lined, and that's a base hit. In comes the run from third, and it's now 5 4. Well done. Drives in the run. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. And now it's going to be Alejandro Kirk. First pitch, and he has to get out of the way. And now the lefty, Mateo, runs. Strike in there. Throw. Save. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hands, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is that. Your attention, please. Now running at second base, number 63. Welcome back. Now it's going to be Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Leading up for the Jets, the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. King back to work. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. And a 1 0. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. And it is 2 and 1. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. And that's downstairs and outside. Well, you know, this righty has got to be worried about one swing ending the game. Wow, you actually said it this time. Normally, you kind of dance around it. Check swing. Appeal to first. No swing. He held up just enough. That's ball four. I don't think you really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. At the play, Jeremy Pena. Way inside, and that hit him. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Here's Luke Voigt.
your attention, please. Ryan McMahon again. steps to the plate. Ryan McMahon. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Lucas Litke. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the Blue Jays. Number 14, Ryan De La Cruz. Ryan De La Cruz will hit next. Number 14, Ryan De La Cruz. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. They say it went. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Chisholm gets there. He's under it. Puts it away for the out. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. To the left side, but it is well foul. Winning run stands at second. So now with one swing. This guy could end it. Stays alive. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Squirts away a little bit. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Out to center. Buxton trying to get to it. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. And there's two down. Gabriel Moreno next up for the Blue Jays. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And now we'll step off and check on third. He's got it. Ball game. And the Mariners hold on to win a nail biter. Stranding the winning run on base. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras in 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the 